Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best laptop for gaming. Starting at number 5. Lenovo Legion Pro. For under $1,500, you can get a 16-inch eSports machine with a screen that also allows for high-resolution, intensive titles. The 2560 by 1600 display goes up to 165 Hz, which is fast enough for esports at 1080p, while the high resolution will make action games look great. Sure, some gaming laptops have faster displays, but they're often more expensive. The i5i Pro stands for Intel. We tested with an Intel Core i7-13700HX along with Nvidia's GeForce RTX 4060. Our system also had 16GB of DDR5 RAM and a 512GB SSD. This model has an improved 1080p webcam over previous generations, which is good for working as well as gaming. We found that its SSD was fast in our testing, and it offered competing gaming performance. That being said, you may want to consider one of the best gaming headsets because there's plenty of fan noise and the audio quality isn't the best. Coming at number 4. Asus ROG Strix. The Asus ROG Strix G16 is catching up to Razer in powerful, portable gaming laptops well. The Strix G16's Core i9-13980HX and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 provided great performance in a 0.89-inch thick chassis. Is the design as sleek as Razer's blades? No but at $1,999.99 when we tested it, Asus is also competing on price. At number 3. MSI Katana 15. The MSI Katana 15 is among our favorite gaming laptops for those with just $1,000 to spend. We tested a $999 model with a Core i7-13620H and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4050 offering strong 1080p performance, though you may have to turn down some settings in some games. In our testing, the Katana passed 60 frames per second in most benchmarks at some pretty high settings, though some, like Red Dead Redemption 2, were run lower. As games get more challenging, budget laptops won't run at the highest settings for long. Even under $1,000, you get 16GB of RAM and 1TB of storage, which is nice to see, as those are often some of the first specs to get cut for a budget PC. Instead, the chassis is made of cheap plastic, but the internals should get the job done. The display could be a bit more vivid, but its 144Hz refresh rate will be a boon for esports players. And for its price, it delivers solid audio. Number 2 of my list. Acer Nitro 16. The Acer's Nitro line has often a place on this list, mixing build quality, performance, and low pricing to create a reasonable product. The Nitro 16, replacing the old Nitro 5, delivers the entry-level power of an RTX 4050 and a Ryzen 5 7640HS, but with some niceties you can get for under $1,000. Our $999 review unit included a 1920 by 1200, 165Hz display with G-Sync support, which is great for esports gaming. It's nice and bright at 371 nits on our light meter, and covered 91% of the DCI P3 color gamut. In our game testing, we found that the system is not the most powerful, but that it has enough power for today's games at the system's native 1920 x 1200. In almost every game we tested, the Nitro surpassed 60 frames per second. We also appreciated that the laptop offered 8 hours and 24 minutes of battery life on our test, which beat other laptops in eyes class, some by multiple hours. The webcam isn't amazing, and Acer has a habit of putting too much bloatware on laptops that you'll spend some time uninstalling. But getting USB for under $1,000, alongside a solid screen and decent performance for the price makes this a great choice for someone whose budget it's set at $1,000. And number 1. MSI Titan 18HX. The MSI Titan GT 77HX has everything, and, we'll be honest, it should. We tested it at $5,399.99, ,99, 
which is way out of reach for most people, don't worry, there are cheaper options further down the list. Between powerful performance, an excellent 18-inch mini LED screen, and a clicky, mechanical keyboard, there's a lot to enjoy here. The Intel Core i9-14900HX and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 laptop GPU are powerful, though they admittedly don't offer a huge bump over previous generations. But with 128GB of RAM and 4TB of SSD storage, there's plenty of room for games and more memory than you'll ever need for gaming. This would be a great machine for video editors. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.